So those are pictures now coming in from Karnataka. You can see actor Kishan Sudeep, who is on the campaign trail for the Bharatiya Janata Party. He is campaigning today in Hooghly, Dharwad. Remember, this is very crucial because from here, a very senior BJP leader, former Chief Minister of the State, Jagdish Shetar, has recently jumped ship from the Bharatiya Janata Party and gone over to the Congress. He will be contesting from the Hooghly, Dharwad Central seat and he hopes that the vote bank, which in fact voted him to power consistently for several terms from Hubli Dharwad Central, will shift with him from the BJP to the Congress. But the BJP, of course, uh, extremely keen to defeat that and is hence uh, now employing the star power of Kitcha Sudeep, who is campaigning. You can see that roadshow, that massive roadshow where Kitcha Sudeep is campaigning for the local BJP candidate in Hubli, Dharwad, Karnataka. You can see people who have gathered on their terraces, their balconies, their houses in order to of course catch a glimpse of uh, the star of uh, Canada cinema. The BJP hopes that this star power translates into votes for the Saffron Party come May 10. These are the final days of the campaign. As far as Karnataka Assembly elections go, the BJP and the Congress going head to head in this election. As the primary contenders in the fray, the Congress hoping to make a comeback in Karnataka. The BJP, of course, hoping to defeat the anti-incumbency factor in the state of Karnataka. Remember that the Prime Minister will also be giving the BJP's campaign a mega push as he, in fact, uh, reaches the battleground on Saturday to campaign over the last few days. Campaigning comes to a close on May 8th in Karnataka. So this is, of course, the... Very crucial as far as the BJP's campaign is concerned. The biggest and the topmost leaders of the Bharatiya Janata Party central and state leadership are in fact campaigning in the state of Karnataka, including union ministers, state chief ministers like Yogi Adityanath, Himanta Biswa Sharma, Deputy Chief Minister of Maharashtra, Devendra Fadnavis, several leaders of the Bharatiya Janata Party, Shivrat Singh Chauhan, have all in fact contributed to the BJP's campaign in the state of Karnataka. The BJP hoping that it sweeps to power, emerges as the single largest party with an absolute majority in the elections on May 10. The results, of course, will be declared on May 13. It's going to be a neck-to-neck -neck battle for the BJP and the Congress. The JD is also in the fray, but all keen political watchers will tell you that this is a contest between the BJP and the Congress as far as this assembly election goes. The BJP, of course, in power only in Karnataka and South India, hoping to retain power in Karnataka. My colleague Anika is joining us over the phone line right now. Anika, we're getting those pictures of Kitcha Sudeep there campaigning in Hubli Dharwad for the local BJP candidate. Extremely crucial, this region for the BJP. Give us a sense of the significance. You know, that's right, Pauline. Today we have Kitcha Sudeep who's campaigning in the Hubli Dharwad Central constituency. Yesterday we had Smriti Irani come there. You know, at this point, all the big and top guns of BJP are flying down to Hubli because they understand the kind of impact Jagdi Shetter's exit could have in the Hubli Dharwad Central constituency. Remember when Jagdi Shetter announced that he will be, you know, you know, a ticket will not be given to him, we saw tires getting burnt. And, you know, that was the intensity of protest that we saw outside Shetter's residence. And, and you know, and the Google Dharwad Central constituency, and and uh, and uh, and given the kind of you know the you know the kind of seniority Jagdi Shetty has, he was a chief minister, he was a former speaker, he was a leader of opposition. So given the kind of clout that he carries, probably the BJP now realizes that his constituency is very very crucial because remember at this point more than everything, it's an ego battle for BJP. The BJP wants to prove that they can win in the Google Dharwad Central despite Jagdi. 
sector's exit. That is why we have all the top guns of BJP, Kitsha Sudhir, Smriti Irani, Prala Jyoti was also campaigning. All the big leaders coming down to the big Harvard Central constituency to campaign because they want to ensure BJP wins in that particular constituency. While on the other hand, Jagdish Shetra wants to prove that all these years, the people of that constituency were voting for BJP because of Shetra's faith and Okay, so Shetra is hoping that it was his name that was garnering the votes uh, up until 2018 and he hopes that that will in fact uh, continue on in 2023 as well.